Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. NextID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies, or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange, which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development, while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. Coming out of the weekend, it seems that the crypto market still can't break out of the current bear market, with total market capitalization clocking in at just under $114 billion U.S., according to CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin is trading for $3,459 at press time, with XRP and Ether trailing behind and trading for $0.30 and $107, respectively. Changpeng Zhao, the CEO of crypto exchange giant Binance, recently tweeted, Amazon will have to issue a currency sooner or later. This followed another tweet in which he expressed confusion at why any internet-based companies would not accept crypto. Quote, For an internet, non-physical-based business, I don't understand why anyone would not accept crypto for payments. It is easier, faster, and cheaper to integration than traditional payment gateways, less paperwork, and reaches more diverse demographics and geographies. End quote. Crypto exchange Kraken has acquired UK-based crypto trading platform and index provider Crypto Facilities, according to the AP. Without specifying a price, the press release indicates that it was a nine-figure deal and was Kraken's largest acquisition to date and one of the largest the industry has seen. Timo Schlaefer, Crypto Facilities CEO and founder, said, quote, It has been our mission to build the most sophisticated, powerful, and user-friendly cryptocurrency trading platform. Teaming up with Kraken allows us to innovate the next generation of products and tremendously boost the value we are able to provide to our clients, end quote. And blockchain technology company Bitfury has announced a partnership with South Korean R&D firm Commons Foundation to launch Bitcoin operations in Paraguay. The two companies will build a series of transaction processing sites in the country, all using Bitfury's Blockbox AC mobile data centers. Valery Vavilov, the CEO of Bitfury, commented, quote, We are committed to increasing the security of the Bitcoin blockchain, both through innovation in our hardware portfolio and expansion of its network throughout the world. Bitfury has consistently prioritized the global decentralization of the Bitcoin blockchain, and we look forward to helping our partners introduce this industry to Paraguay. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.